I'm going to be using the sphere mold from Chicado. You're going to want to use a cotton ball to clean the surface of the mold before applying any colored cocoa butter to ensure a quick and easy release when you are done with your chocolate. For me, I only use Roxy and Rich because in my opinion, it's the best on the market. I then make sure my colored cocoa butter is tempered. 32 degrees seems to work the best in my environment. I then dip a brush into the colored cocoa butter and use the splatter effect across all the cavities. You'll notice that I get a pretty big droplet in one of them which I didn't like so I just use my finger to thin it out. I then clean off all the excess off the surface of the mold. Because we are using multiple colors, you're going to want to make sure each layer is thoroughly dried. For a nice contrast color, I'm going to use Roxy and Rich Midnight Blue. This technique, I'm just using a brush to swirl it around in a random pattern. To make sure I don't have any heavy spots, I go over the molds one more time, making sure each cavity has a thin layer. Next I'm going to use my finger to apply the colored cocoa butter. This technique works great if you don't have brushes available. For the backdrop color, I've decided to use Arctic White by Roxy and Rich. Next, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. This ensures that I get maximum coverage of the backdrop color. Other techniques that I use, I allow the chocolate to be the backdrop, but for the look that I am going for here, I don't want any chocolate showing through. If you don't have a makeup sponge available, you can just use your finger to fill in the backdrop. Just make sure that it doesn't clump up on you. Now it's time to fill with chocolate. I'm using Calibo 811. To temper my chocolate, I use the cocoa butter silk method. It does take 24 hours to make the silk, but in my opinion, it is definitely worth it. Then you're going to want to tap your mold on a hard surface to release all the air bubbles. Upend the mold and get rid of the excess chocolate into a bowl. 
Then using a bench scraper, clean the face of the mold. I let the mold sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes to set up and then I put in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. They turned out pretty good. The brush strokes look really good on this one. This is where we had that droplet that I moved around with my finger. I really can't say enough about Roxy and Rich. Their colors are really on point and their customer service is amazing. Here you can see that the cocoa butter came out of temper or I didn't clean the mold good enough. The cocoa butter stayed inside the mold. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful. If enough people do find it helpful, I will post more tutorials. Thanks for watching.